So I kind of reach a stump um, with audios, meaning, I don't know, I just haven't been feeling interested in anything. But something came to my head recently, and it's literally about social media. And I kind of want to bash social media because I'm someone who's been through the whole phase of social media um, from the early times. And I want to say like I'm like the first, obviously, but I've seen social media go in so many different directions that it's insane how different it feels now. And um, I don't know. I kind of said also, do I really want to talk about my journey with technology and the internet? But then again, it might be too long. So like always, I don't know what direction this audio is going to go to, but we'll see. Um, I've been going through TikTok a lot and it just feels so superficial and you might be like okay what do you mean by that it feels like an advertisement war zone like it literally feels (laughs) like everyone wants to just profit and advertise and I get it I'm not one to judge, but you have so many people who are claiming to be influencers who are basically advertising products, which you know they're getting commission for. And they're saying, this product changed my life. It's amazing. Go get it because they're getting commission, obviously, but who is one to judge, right? Um, And then you click on the price of these items and they're super cheap. And there is no way (laughs) that um, these products are good because let's be honest, if a product is selling cheap, um, it really says a lot sometimes about the ingredients or materials in there. It kind of feels like creativity is dying in some form. Um, I've seen people online who are very creative and honestly, I get inspired by them. At the same time, I see people who are just, you know, pretty faces or they're, um, they got lucky somehow and blew up and just make basic content just to supplement their money. It's okay to have like one or a couple of people doing that, but now it just feels like the majority. And it's gotten to the point where people have been saying, yeah, you should post. Why don't you get your money? Yes, you should post. Why don't you make some income out of it? The truth is I I have a really hard time with this, meaning I have a love and hate relationship with money. Money is a really great motivation, but I kid you not. You start doing some shady stuff once you get money. I know people call like politicians or lawmakers corrupt and everyone is quick to judge them saying you know they're taking insider deals they're taking money from people at the same time it's like you know everyone in the internet world is kind of doing that too meaning at first you do something you love and then you get a little bit greedy maybe you sign a deal with a big company and they manage your brand And next thing you know, it's like they're trying to get you out because they're just profiting from everything you did and just expanding it so much more larger, right? And I kid you not, sometimes there is an obsession with views, like comments, followers, and it's so toxic. It's very toxic, but it's so hard to kind of change your mindset around it. That's why I'm saying like, you know, I'm not judging anybody because I'm trying to tell you this is the things that I've seen and I go through phases of it and then I realize why am I doing this, right? I'm glad that some social medias have the feature where you can hide your likes, hide your comments, hide your views because sometimes it is necessary. Um, Even me, like I'm going to be really honest, I'm trying not to get caught up in this kind of thing. 
But the way it goes, it's very sporadic, meaning I might be in my element one day. I might say, you know, I want to do an audio about the color pink. And then, you know, I do an, an audio talking about the color pink. It's completely random, by the way. It will say it goes so well that I say, oh, maybe I want to do about the color blue, the color purple. And now I'm really sitting here debating, am I doing this because I like the idea of doing something with colors? Or is it because I've seen the first one grow so high in views and likes and comments that I kind of want to continue that path? And then that's when it kind of feels forced. So if you see me... <laughs> With similar topics for audios, um, I am kind of then stuck in that cycle of, yes, I am going for views. Yes, I'm going for likes. If you see me uh, putting different stuff where <laughs> the last video and the first video don't make any sense. Like me, one video is about cars and then the next video is about going to a picnic then you know I'm kind of in my element. And I'm doing whatever I like to do. So yes, am I exposing myself in one way? I am exposing myself in the sense that I'm telling you what I really am doing. But at the same time, I know that's not the way you want me to expose. <laughs> um, I know what you want. And what am I wearing? Oh, thank you for asking. A lovely tube top because they're just easy to lift off. And then your mouth drops to the floor. Or should I say your jaw drops to the floor and your eyes pop out like those cartoons. Like Tom and Jerry. But I'll tell you something crazy I really want to do. <laughs> I really want to just do an audio where I'm sipping water <laughs> and shaking my cup with ice. It's so dumb, but I'm kind of, you know, like, you know, after work when your mind doesn't work anymore. So I literally want to do this. <sighs> and drink obnoxiously. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Actually, you know, I'm probably going to do it. Because what I want to do. And you can't tell me nothing. Because I'm a bad, bad, a very naughty. <gasps> you fill in the blank. I also forgot. I'm going to definitely do a video where I talk about my journey with the internet. Because I love it. <laughs>